It is one of the most successful programs of its type in the entire country. Tulsa Remote launched in 2018 with the goal of luring young entrepreneurs to live and work in green country. Five years later, it's going gangbusters. Steve Shaw updates the growing economic impact of Tulsa Remotes. Clarine Mitchell is a writer who owns a communications company. She conducts corporate training and she shows people how to network for jobs using the website LinkedIn. Seven months ago, Clarine took a leap and left her longtime home base in Milwaukee, Wisconsin and moved to Tulsa. Um, fresh start, new chapter in my life personally and Tulsa was the ideal place for Why? me. That's a long story, so I'm trying to con mentally condense it for you. I'm going to reference this. It says Black Wall Street on it. Um, I originally came to Tulsa in 2021, visited, and it was something about the city that pulled me then. Um, and so I tucked it away in my heart, never knowing I would have the opportunity to come and live here. Clarine was chosen from thousands of applicants to become a member of Tulsa Remote. It's a five-year-old nonprofit that recruits elite remote workers, many who make more than $100,000 a year. Tulsa Remote offers $10,000 to any successful applicant who lives and works remotely in Tulsa for at least one year. Tulsa Remote Managing Director Justin Harlan says they had 10,000 applicants their first year, which ironically was still a full 18 months before the COVID pandemic probably forever changed the remote work landscape. When we started, we had no idea how big this would be. Um, you know, we had 70 people in that first year. We now have had over 2,700 people move to the city. That doesn't include, you know, spouses, partners, friends, family that come with the members that we pay. We know for every three people we pay, there's an additional two people that come. Um, and we've added over $300 million in direct employment income to the city. Uh, we've added about $3 million in sales tax to the city, another $3 million to the state. Um, and we know too that you know when, when new people come to a city, there's jobs that are created, whether that's at your boutique clothing store or the coffee shop that people frequent. More people in a city means there's more demand for jobs like that. We've created over 700 jobs for local Tulsans too. Harlan says those aren't loose economic numbers. They're backed up by data. A measuring stick of Tulsa Remote's success is the fact that since they started in 2018, 76% of the folks who completed the program are still here in Tulsa. We are firm believers that, you know, you should be able to work um, where you want to live. And there's a lot of folks that are being required to, you know, forced to live where they have to work. And I think that proximity isn't always necessary for people in their jobs. Uh, and, you know, Tulsa really offers a lifestyle for folks that you get that high quality of life, but at a low cost of living. And I think especially for folks living in super expensive cities on the coast, it's really refreshing. I have a phenomenal network community already in a short period of time here. If I would have moved anywhere else on my own outside of Tulsa Remote or a program similar to it, that wouldn't have happened. I would have been, you know, fumbling through the process of starting my life. Jeremy Wade played quarterback at Miami High School two decades ago. He went on to use his degree from Pittsburgh State to work all over the world for the U.S. Treasury Department. He says he heard about Tulsa Remote five years ago when he and his future wife, Renita, were working remote jobs in the country of India. They took the plunge and moved to Tulsa and got married two years ago. Jeremy now leads the Cyber Skills Center at Tulsa Community College. Yeah, the $10,000 is certainly helpful, uh, you know, to, for that transition and, you know, but I think what was even more than the $10,000 was, you know, Tulsa Remote's approach to helping you build community. And that's often the hardest part. I know, I grew up in Connecticut. And so, you know, I really, sad to say, I didn't know very much about this area and I didn't know much about Oklahoma. So I never thought in a million years, I'd end up with a guy from Oklahoma, but 
People are very nice here. And I will say, I mean, I grew up in Oklahoma and you know, Tulsa is a, a much different city than what I remember it to be. You know, I think the city's reckoning, you know, with its past and has a vision for the future. And, you know, when, once we got here and saw that energy and saw that vision for the future for Tulsa, uh, I was motivated to myself, you know, find a role where I could contribute to that. Clarine Mitchell's well aware of Tulsa's dark past, but she likes what's ahead. Yeah, a lot. It's a, a lot of heaviness here, but there's a lot of potential here. There's a lot of hope here as well. And I've, I've put in my roots. I'm, I moved here to stay. Tulsa Remote requires a year. I moved here with the mindset, this is my new home. Steve Shaw, The Oklahoma News Report. Thank you.